What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button, join Ninja Nation. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Shane Bieber, who had four strikeouts, giving up only one earned run in six and a third innings. He had his breaking ball working as always. Those knuckle curves and sliders were filthy, and he lowered his ERA to 3.10 on the year. But he was outdueled by Johnny Cueto. Cueto only had two strikeouts, but was masterful, throwing eight and two-thirds scoreless innings. Garrett Cole had five Ks in six innings and had these overpowering fastballs, but he did give up four runs and was not happy about it. You can see the frustration in the dugout. Mitch White had this filthy slider and had five Ks in four innings. Zach Wheeler had his slider and two-seamer working. He had six strikeouts in five and a third innings, but did give up four runs. Trevor Williams had three strikeouts, giving up no runs in four innings and had this nasty sinker. Michael Waka used his fastball and changeup on his way to five and two-thirds scoreless innings with four strikeouts. Waka's ERA this season is only 2.28. Chris Archer did a near cartwheel after giving up this hit. I thought that was impressive. Marcus Stroman was outstanding, going seven and two-thirds innings with five Ks and only two hits. His changeup was filthy. Look at these. He also had this beautiful bounced pitch, which apparently the pitch tracker mocked. Come on, dude. It went further than that. James Caprillion had three strikeouts in five innings, giving up two runs thanks to these sliders. He was up against Logan Gilbert, who went five innings, giving up two earned runs and had four Ks, and these fastballs. David Peterson had this slider that ended up behind the hitter. That's filthy. Drew Rasmussen was really good again with these sliders and cutters. He had eight Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up only two runs. Josiah Gray went five innings, King three, and giving up only one run, thanks to these curveballs. He was pitching against Joe Musgrove, who was his usual filthy self. Musgrove had seven Ks in six innings, giving up only one run. And check out these curveballs and sliders. He had this wicked slider to Cruz. And of course, somebody on Twitter said, oh, that's just a terrible swing. But when you overlay that slider with his 95-mile-an-hour fastball, you can see why Cruz might have swung at it. If you're looking fastball and you get a slider, bad swings happen. Christian Javier had 8 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 1 run and only 2 hits. Thanks to his invisible fastballs, his curveballs, and his sliders. He lowered his ERA this year to 2.88. He was up against Spencer Strider and Quadzilla was fantastic. Strider went 6 innings with 9 Ks, nice, and had these 100 mile an hour fastballs and nasty sliders. And even got this helicopter sword. With 100-mile-an-hour fastballs and filthy sliders, he may remind you of another pitcher. But Strider made clear to me he doesn't see himself as Jacob deGrom. I first rehabbing, I didn't try to be Jacob deGrom just because I mean, that was a whole different thing. And I still can't be Jacob deGrom. He's Jacob deGrom. I'm just the 5'11 dude who has a mustache. But my filthiest pitcher of the day was Dustin May. Oh, my God, he was filthy. It is so good to have him back. Check out these ridiculous upper 90s two-seamers from May. And his slider movement was off the charts. Look at this slider and K yell. This slider was over 3,400 RPMs. in freaking credible And check out these overlays of his two-seamers and sliders. This doesn't look real. It'll make you cross your eyes. And he did this over and over again. Dustin May was made for pitching ninja overlays. This is some of the filthiest stuff I've seen all year. And it was his first game back with the Dodgers after Tommy John. Just mind-blowing. And now on to my filthiest relievers. Matt Bush had this filthy stuff in K celebration. Alex Lang had these dirty curveballs. Seth Lugo had these curveballs and K'd the side. Ron Marinaccio had this wicked changeup. Devin Williams had these airbenders. Pete Fairbanks had this overpowering 99-mile-an-hour fastball. 
Liam Hendricks had this slider to close out the game. Andres Munoz had these disgusting sliders. He has a 51.6% whiff rate on that slider. And my filthiest reliever of the day was Jose Alvarado, who had this sick stuff, including 101 mile an hour sinkers and 95 mile an hour cutters. And check out this play on this drop third strike. He pounces on it like a cat. And now, my pitching ninja moment of zen. It's just dudes being dudes. Pujols has been gripping bats so long, he doesn't know when to stop. A little shout out to Cardinals Gifts for that one. What's up, Ninja Nation? My picks of the day today are for Shohei Otani to have 10Ks or more, and for Sandy Alcantara to have 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 